If you like what you see today, consider donating to my cash app down below. Every little bit helps my channel grow. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Okay, David, so I went ahead and set up that appointment with a doctor for you so you can get that abscess looked at. Why, bitch? You know you're breaking the terms of the restraining order by calling me. Yeah, well, it's already going to take a lot of work to explain to Mandy why her father is not an active presence in her life. I don't need to go and explain to her why her father is dead, too. Because he had an abscess and couldn't take a look at it. You can keep that dumbass baby. And what the fuck is an abscess? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about that zit that's growing on the side of your head. God damn it, David. Read a fucking book. Weren't you a communications major or some shit? Don't diss my education, bitch! I didn't need to suck off every fucking doctor at the hospital just to get into nursing school. And the zit is doing much better, thank you very much. It uh, already popped in three places. A zit doesn't pop in three places. You need antibiotics. Suck off every doctor at the fucking hospital and now the bitch thinks that she's a medical dictionary. Can you for once have a little bit of gratitude in you? Gratitude. <laughs> Gratitude. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for becoming a moderator in the NJ Quartz's chats. Thank you for talking a bombshell behind my back. Th oh. Thank you for hiding a whole ass fucking Instagram account for me. You know you wouldn't be able to see this doctor if I didn't set it up for you. You act like I don't have money. Did you get your car fixed yet? I, uh... Uh, I don't really know how much the car is going to cost. Uh, I really don't know how it's going to be. So that's a now. I can't get the fucking dollars into my cash app because nobody going to the fucking donate to me because everybody's making me look bad. And nobody, nobody has a fucking problem donating to losers like Landon and Bombshell and all these fucking other bozos, but they left me in the dust. Well, that's what happens when you're an asshole on the internet. Now, make sure you go to this appointment so that way you don't die from sepsis. Goodbye. Stupid ass fucking bi- Ow. Oh, my fucking ear hurts so bad. For a chunk of her life, that bitch has been with me, and she still thinks that I can't take care of myself. The historical record of our fucking relationship shows that I'm the independent one. Oh boy, oh boy, I better not keep my new sexy boyfriend waiting for our date. Oh! David, what are you doing here? Uh, I really needed to talk to you, Jen. I couldn't... What are you so dressed up for? I am going on a date. I'm going to go on a very romantic dinner with a very beautiful man. Who the fuck is this beautiful to you, man? I'm going to go step on his spleen. I'm calling the police. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Just just hold on a minute. Just hear me out. I, uh, I, I came back because I wanted to apologize. I, w I need you in my life, and I wanted to come here and say sorry. <laughs> you want to say sorry. I really want to make this work. I don't know how I'm going to make it out there without you. You're going to replace my windshield? I don't have any of the money. I don't have any of the money. Or you have the money. You have all the money. Ever since you smashed my windshield, I've been having to sleep in my car, and all the rain and the cold keeps coming through the smashed opening of it. Oh, you poor, poor thing. I'm ready to change, baby. Uh, I'm so sorry for everything. You don't know how hard it is out there. You don't, you don't know all the things that I've had to do to be able to survive and make money. What have you been having to do? Let's just say it's a hard world out there having to take more dick than you do just to, just to be able to get by every single day. I don't know, David. I already told my audience that I'm not going back. That I'm not going back. I don't have anybody that I can change for. You're the only person that I can change for. I want to change, Jen. I want to change for you. I must be out of my mind. Okay, David, I'm off. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Where are you going? Work. Work? Yes, work. The place that I go to to exchange services for monetary compensation. The thing that I've been hoping that you would get for the last month. You sure you're not off to see Joey or any of the one of the fucking bozos that were thirsty after you? You know, just because I'm a former porn model doesn't mean that I spread my legs to every man that walks my way. That's really disgusting. Whatever. I, I don't want you working. You don't want me working. I don't, I don't need all these eyes on my woman. And how do you suppose we're going to make the money to be able to live? Did you forget who your man is? The walking W over here. I am the face of success. 
You're talking to a boss and a celebrity player, Mr. Ski Mask Andy. I can make all the money we need just by showing my pretty face online. Look, I am not going to have our daughter's future depend on the donations of some crusty old desperate women who have not had a man in years. Quit your job. Quit your job and tell them that you don't need their money. I'm going to be making the money. Oh my god. I know there's some cash in here somewhere. Hey David, have you seen my purse? I'm looking for it everywhere and I can't seem to find... What the hell are you doing with my purse? Oh, uh, I, I was just looking for some money for some Dutch masters. Yeah, I was, I was short on some cash. <laughs> then why is my credit card in your hand? Uh, oh, uh, well, I couldn't find any cash, so I was just uh, gonna try to charge it. You didn't pay my credit card last month, and I'm seeing a lot of charges for all these botting websites. Are you buying bots of my dime? What? No! Please give me my purse. I need to go buy some diapers. Diapers? Why the fuck you... I, I, I knew you were into some freaky shit, Jen, but that's, some, that's really, really disgusting. <laughs> Not for me, you fucking imbecile for our child. You know, the, the one that is gestating in my womb. How do I know you're not going out to see other men? Uh, other men with some sick fetishes. <laughs> Funny, I was about to ask you the same thing. What the fuck? What are you insinuating about me? I need my purse, please. Man, Ryder's running out of some half-decent people to screw these days. David, that better be Indeed.com that you have open on your phone right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, uh, looking for a job. That, that's what I was doing. I just went over to the store today, and I happen not to have enough money on my card to buy diapers. Do you know anything about that, David? What happened to the college fund that we were raising for Mandy? Oh, uh, uh I haven't collected any money on it yet. You had a $50 donation yesterday night. What are you talking about? I, uh, spent it on bills. You spent it all on weed again, didn't you? No. I, I have had it with you. I have had it with you, David. I am completely up to my head with you, David. I, you haven't changed one fucking bit. You spent all of our fucking money on weed. I am out here trying to be a fucking good parent for my daughter. I am out here doing my fucking best to make myself better. And all you do is get in the way. Don't fucking raise your voice to me, bitch. You don't know how hard it is for a real nigga to get out a job out here with a criminal record. I'm a convicted felon. What you're dealing with right now, nothing compared to what I'm dealing with right now. What you fucking feel, nothing compared to what I feel. Get your shit and get the fuck out of my house. You haven't changed one bit, David. You are never gonna change. You are fucking worthless. Get the fuck out of my house. And whatever you don't gather, I am going to sell on eBay so that I can feed our daughter when she's born. Try to fuck with me like that, I'll snap your fucking neck! Ah! Oh! Oh! You best get your shit and go, David. Get your things and leave. Or I'm calling the cops. If you liked what you see today, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to Stunner Scribe. Thank you so much. Until next time.